What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be reviewing Tracy Ellis Ross's new natural hair product line, Pattern Beauty, but not just from one hair type. We're going to be comparing the products on three. This is my beautiful friend Quincy. She has a mixture of type 3 hair. She suffers from having dry scalp, especially in the winter, and stretch out curls due to her hair being so long and heavy. She hopes to find a product that works on her multi-ethnic hair. This is my other beautiful friend, Mani. Her hair is a mixture of 4B and 4C. She has trouble retaining moisture in her very fine strands, but her hair is also super soft. Then, yours truly. My hair has all types of type 4 mixed in it in some type of way. It's very dense but full of fine strands and tangles very easily. It also dries out easily, which makes it so prone to breakage. Let the wash day begin. So, your girl's up first, and I'm so excited to try these products. You guys have no idea. This is what I'm starting out on. My hair has been in a protective style for a couple weeks. It's super tangled, super dirty, I apologize, and it's very, very dry. Ooh, man. I'm starting with the hydration shampoo to gently cleanse and hydrate. To show you all how much this shampoo lathers, I decided to start outside the shower. And as you can see, it lathers very nicely and it smelled good. Subtle, but good. And this is my hair at the moment. Um, this is from showering and conditioning and, and doing all the things for my hair two, three days ago. But this is like, super 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 stretched so that's what i'm starting from and the products that i am using is the medium conditioner for curlies which is me that's the lightest the loosest curl texture um and then i'm gonna also be using i actually started using this about five days ago the jojoba oil hair serum for moisture boost for hair and scalp so I've been using it for scalp because it's dry <laughs> where I live. And so I often get a lot of um, irritation and flaking right here, like just this one spot, but then mostly right at the back in the band right here. But now I'm gonna go shower. All right, so as you can see, this is my hair before we wash it. I dyed my hair in May, so we're gonna see if it's good on color treated hair. But this is my dirty hair. This is the shampoo, hydration shampoo. So it says gently cleanse and hydrate. Oh, it is color safe. I see that. Okay, I didn't see that at first. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna wash my hair and then I'll be back and show you guys what it looks like. So here I am, fresh out the shower, and my hair feels so moisturize and no those are not flakes in my hair just to be clear they're actual water droplets my hair is super low porosity so water just kind of sits on top of my hair and chills there for whatever reason but you know it's, it's what we're working with i'm going to go in with the heavy conditioner for coilies amplified hydration and nourishment and it is just as buttery as they advertise it to be it also had that subtle good smell again, like the shampoo. I also want to note that one week later, my hair still smelled great. I also tried the pattern shower brush, but I feel like you need a looser curl texture to start for it to really work with detangling. I could use it after I detangled, but otherwise it was clearly a struggle. So I switched to my tangle teaser, it was a lot easier.
Then I section off my hair into big twists and let it sit for a couple minutes. In the meantime, let's see what Quincy's doing. Man, that was corny. Okay, I paused my shower um, so that I could show you what I'm doing and do the conditioner. So the conditioner actually has instructions for um, apply to wet hair from roots to ends, which is what I usually do. And then for extra dense curls, which is not me, I don't believe, or long hair section while conditioning to ensure every strand gets the love it deserves. Use a shower brush or fingers to help detangle and bring curls together. And then you rinse. So I don't ever do this. However, I'm gonna give it the full shot. This is what we got. I guess I'll check in with you guys later, but I did want to say, did not do that. Baby hair likes it, I guess. Wow. So this is my hair, right after shampooing it. Just got out the shower. I should have said before that I um, had not washed my hair for like two and a half, three weeks before that. Lathers up really well. I don't really see much of a difference right now. This is usually how my hair is after I shampoo it. So like I said, I got the Intense Conditioner for Tight Textures, Extreme Moisture and Restoration. That's what it says. It says great for tight textures when your scalp and hair need some extra TLC. I do need some TLC. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I'm gonna get my detangling comb, I'll be back. goes through really smoothly like mm -hmm. it really does feel like butter on my hair which is nice i'm excited to use the leave-in now it's proving to be harder to de detangle than it is with my other conditioner i usually use Honestly, already going through it. Almost done. This is how much came out when I detangled it. Which like compared to when I was a kid is very little. But this is usually how much I get um most wash days. Like it slides through, but I will say it feels heavy on my hair. Um but yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Then I'm gonna rinse it out. And I'll show you what it looks like and then we'll do a leave-in conditioner. Awesome. Half dry check-in for today. Um, my curls seem to be loving it. I've already tell, told other people, like my sister who's holding the camera, that it smells great and that they should use it. And I don't smell like an herbal essence walking by with the amount of conditioner I use. So, check in out. Now that I've rinsed off my hair in the twist, it feels so soft, y'all. Oh my goodness, it feels so good. Now I'm going to apply the leave-in conditioner to define and moisturize, as said on the bottle. This had a different smell than the shampoo and the conditioner. It was a little stronger than the other two products, but I liked it. It also defined my curls.
had some trouble detangling with the conditioner. The shampoo was great. And um, the leave-in, the little goes a long way. But I really don't like the smell. But yeah, that's it. Okay, y'all. Yes. Bye. I don't think you're ready for this. Um, hello? I don't even know what to, like, this can't just be from conditioner. Um, the conditioner, my hair, like, my hair, like, soaked it up. I loved it. Yeah, so I really like the conditioner because multiple reasons. It was not too thick for my hair. The small size. I can be confident in my hair and I can travel for work and not just it's always gonna be in a bun. I would love to use this as my number one all the time conditioner, but I know that not everybody has the opportunity to pay $9 for three fluid ounces. And depending on like my length, this is gonna be maybe three or four or five showers. And if you have thicker hair texture than mine, this might be like one or two. I would love for this to be available to everybody who needs it, all the curly girls. What's up y'all, it's Devin from the future. I suck and did not film an outro talking about what I thought about the products. And now I now have my wig on, so. I really like the products. I'm definitely going to use them until the bottles are empty because they were pricey. They smelled great and it was the one of the first products that I could find that I could feel on my hair three to four days after washing it was still moisturized, but it wasn't greasy. Like I didn't feel anything on my fingers, but my hair did feel moisturized. Um, I also really like that the conditioners are tailored for people with different types of hair. As you can see, all three of us used three different of the conditioners, and I'm curious to see if my conditioner will work for Mani, and if the one that Mani used in Tenza would work for me. I'm really excited. Hopefully she comes out soon with styling products because I was putting my hair back and do a protective style, but you can't really do a final reveal um, without the styling products just because it's hard to tell what the shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in can do for styling. Um, when you use a different styler from a different brand. So I know that's something that she said was coming soon. So I'm really excited and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for next week and happy fall. Bye.